There was this red engine who used to work on the main line with me, Henry and Edward. It was an XROD engine and was very powerless. He treated the others unfairly, especially the smaller engines. The arguments he and Thomas had seemed to never end. But when Thomas saved James from his accident, everything changed. Thomas didn't really have to deal with Jeffrey that much anymore. And as the truth behind James's accident came out, thanks to the Vickerstown yard manager, that landed him in hot water with that director. When James came back from the work, between you and me, I think Jeffrey was jealous. The new engine was now red, had fought in the ROD, and was a mixed traffic engine, like himself. Worst was that the number five showed how he was here to stay, while Joffrey was hanging on by a thread. He seemed calm on the surface, but on the inside, however, he knew for a fact he would be sent away. And knowing his character, he would not give up that fight. How is that ending up to at this hour? heard you granted wishes for price. Uh, I... I want to be an express engine. I want to have the same status as that galloping sausage. I want to be respected. What will I need to do? Excuse me. <laughs> Very well. That was easier than I thought. We have a deal. Right. I need Henry on a goods train to Vickerstown, Gorn to the Express, and James to take a coal train to Marin for the new plant in the town. And you, Geoffrey, to take the China clay wagons to Natford. Right, you all got your jobs. Go out there and make me proud. Excuse me, James. I just wanted to say how lovely your red paint looks today. Oh, um, thank you? It'll be a shame if you ruin it by taking dirty coal trucks. How about this? I'll take them off your buffers, and you can take the china clay wagons. Much cleaner, in my opinion. Oh, after what you did? No way! Look, I'm dreadfully sorry for putting that awful prank on you. It was wrong of me. I just want to show the Fat Controller how useful I am. You know how the other railway treats its engines. Please, James. Compassion from you! I never thought I'd see the day. So, can we swap trains? All right then, it's a deal. I do have to keep my shiny red paint clean after all. Of course you do. I'll get on it right away. I know he's done a lot of bad things in the past, but maybe he's changed for the better this time. Well done, Locke. You're doing great so far. You're almost as good as me when I started. Is what he wants to tell you. 
you should have been there for the rail disaster of 1899, where this um, star shunter ran tender first in the turntable. Uh, signalman's error, nothing more. Really? It knocked the shore for a certain steam engine to get her attention. Lock, can you go and fetch James's coal train? Now, if you please. I do wish you could bother me while I'm not teaching. Besides, she thought it was quite noble. Ah yes, the legend of the Duke Dog. It was a rather stupid name, really. I wasn't even Great Western. Where are my tracks supposed to be? At Brendam. Not the stupid China Clay, the coal wagons. I need to take them to Marin. Oh, you mean James's train? I didn't think he would let you swap with him that easily. <laughs> I have a certain charm. You wouldn't understand. What are you up to? Nothing. Just trying to be a really useful engine. Now where is my train? Or else I'll tell the fat director who will try to stop me from doing my job. <sighs> On the siding. By the loading bay. Cheers. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I've got to tell the fat director next time I see him. Breaking news. The weather reports severe thunderstorm warning including Vickerstown, Natford and Crovens Gate until 4.30am Eastern Time. This storm will contain wind gusts to 70 miles per hour, so make sure you get your coat and make sure it's tightened up too. Well you better tell them quick. be worth it. I can't risk the director sending me back. Right. Shunt those trucks in that siding, and you should be good to go. Shunting? <clears throat> yes, sir. Of course, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hey, Barry. Didn't know they had garrets on this railway. Can you stop being a moron, Fred? got what you wanted, and I grant my wish. Listen, you fool. I gave what you wanted. Now grant my stupid wish. Christ. The rain is getting so bad, we might have to stop in the tunnel like Henry did. Don't even think about it. The other engine wouldn't let me hear the end of it. You have to admit, it is getting pretty bad out there. Not bad enough to cancel the express. We have a timetable to keep. As I left the big station that night, 
I had no idea about what was going to unfold. I made a good time, and the passengers enjoyed themselves while I was seeing how fast I could go. Steady on, Gordon. You're not running a race. Oh, I wish I had listened. What the? What's that on the line? It's a coal truck. Stop. With the speed I was going, the rails slipping beneath me, it would have been impossible to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Our number four is seriously damaged. We have phoned ahead and another engine is coming to take you onward. This is one way to say you need some coal. Oh dear. I guess I'll have to show what a really useful engine can do. Now listen, this isn't one of your dirty good strains. These people need to make it home safely. I know what I'm doing, you wretch. I've been pulling expresses long before you were even built. Step aside and watch what a true engine can do. Little did I know. That will be the last time I saw Jack there alive. Now I don't know what his thoughts were that night, but I'm sure he felt victorious after finally getting a hand and pulling the express. <gasps> that is all things. But things must come to an end. Stop! Stop! It was found the next day in the bottom of the ravine. The bandit was in pieces, and almost all the passengers on that train were killed. From the rubble, I managed to find a coal truck. They said it came off of Henry's train. It was impossible, because Control said they saw the tail lamp. With that, directors soon found out about Geoffrey taking James's train, and how poorly he shunted it into the siding. James was put into sheds for over three months, until the fat director let him out again. The fat director and the railway board covered it all up as best as they could paying compensation to all the passengers' families who were lost in the collision. But soon the press found out, and they started putting out articles saying the railway was unsafe. To keep his reputation intact, the railway board hired an investigation team, which said it was an accident caused by poor visibility because of the darkness and the rain. They wisely decided to cancel all night passenger trains, and then out. Definitely one of the more strange parts of my early life. But my mind wanders where Jeffrey would have been today. Well, 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 if it isn't the almighty Jeffrey coming to to what do I owe the pleasure? I've heard you granted wishes for price. Indeed. 
What do you require? Uh, I... I want to be an express engine. I want to have the same status as that galloping sausage. I want to be respected. What will I need to do? Coal truck. Excuse me. Get me one coal truck. Then your wish is granted. <laughs> Very well. That was easier than I thought. We have a deal. Good. Where? Where am I? Time's up. I gave you the coal wagon, and I was supposed to get the express train. That was the deal. Right? You said you wanted to pay that galloping sausage out, and I gave you what you wanted. Now it's my turn to get what I want. And what would that be? Your soul!